I want to talk about the borders that we often have to deal with as, as researchers, as um, PhD students, as professors. There's often a lot of borders that we have to deal with, and these borders are there for good intention. And there seems to be, in the last few years, where borders are becoming more important in our society. And there's people from different parts of the world that are facing challenges with these particular borders. And I want to talk about that in terms of what we can possibly do. And this is a very sensitive video for me. I'm very well aware of some of these things. So I'm going to be careful in how I talk about this in the sense that there is a lot that's going on in this world. And what I want you to do is come out happy and healthy at the end of this. And I think that's the ultimate goal. Whenever I want you to sort of look and reflect, and I know it's hard to do, but I want you to reflect on all of these different periods in history for each decade, literally write out each decade. And what you'll see is that there is always some sort of thing that's happening that is putting pressure or making it difficult to do some of the things that scientists and researchers often um, need to do. And sometimes these constraints are good and helpful and they allow us to see the world in a slightly different way. And so we don't go and do some things, but sometimes they're not as helpful. And what we need to do is reflect on these. So, uh, you know, a couple of things that ends up happening is that there's topics we can't talk about there are, um, you know, borders, like physical borders that people can't cross or, you know, they have to move back home or any number of different things. And this has been going on for a long time, depending on what particular crisis that is going on. And so what can you do as a person that's going through this and the challenges? And I would highly recommend the biggest thing is that all of this stuff is very heavy for everybody to pay attention to. And I reflect on it. I'm not sort of, you know, I'm not sticking my head in the sand in any sort of way. And I think about these things, but the, the best thing that you can possibly do is to create an inner sense of self that you're confident and happy and really working on things that make you feel good, right? So thinking, doing things that are good and healthy, right? Like spending some time where you're with family and friends, doing um, walk or exercise or whatever the thing that you're thinking about. Um, any number of different things are very critical to deal with the stresses that we go through. But then as well, pick and choose and be thoughtful about the things that you're going to work on and what you're going to do where that you can have a positive impact. Sometimes we do things because we see that there is some sort of challenge um, that needs to be corrected. And these are really important things to, to uh, approach. And sometimes it's how we tackle the problem that's often very important, right? So if you face conversations really head on, sometimes that doesn't work out as much as, as we would like. And sometimes we have to take a step back and realize that this is a long-term thing and we have to figure out how to tackle it more difficult problem in a much more softer tone. And this, this thinking about what is going on rather than going directly at it is sometimes much more important and much more helpful for those of us that are in the game. And we have to approach these particular things. So I would love to often openly ta talk about things or, or tackle hard problems all the time, but we can't. I can't because there's other people that are on the other side that you have to be sensitive to and thoughtful for because they're thinking about some challenging things that are going on in their life and they may not necessarily be receptive. So what you need to do is learn how to have patience inside for when is the appropriate time and the amount of opening up about different things that you can do. And sometimes it's really thinking about how can I be a stable person in this particular setting and let some of the anger or challenges that, that we all face come out 
it's, it's often for me, it's thinking about, is this the appropriate time? Is this might not necessarily, this is an important thing that we need to tackle, but is this, is this the appropriate time? Can we think about things in the long term that allow us to reflect on, on good things and tackle those challenging things in a much more indirect way? And I know that's really difficult for us to hear because there are real problems that exist in this world. There are real things that are going on and, you know, um, challenges that real people are facing. Um, and then we have to either choose to take a stand on certain key things that we know are, are right, or we think about the longer term perspective and how we can sustain ourselves so that we can continue to push back on the things that we know are right and to continue to keep the conversation open. One of the particular challenges I think we face, um, and this isn't true of any society that's ever existed, is that if you go to the hard thing too quickly, sometimes you can't have those conversations. And so the easiest thing is to come and wait until people are willing to listen to the particular things. I'm gonna give you a very innocuous example. Um, you know, there's things that are going on with AI, for example. This is, this is very, there's many other bigger things. Um, but AI, and, and in, initially when it came out, when people were paying attention to it, they were frightened. They didn't know what to do with it. They thought it was plagiarism concerns and things like that. But as we get interactions with it, and we continue to interact with it, people feel a little bit more comfortable with these particular topics and ideas. So I'd encourage you um, that if this is going on in your life, make sure that you have a happy and healthy life, first of all. So that means if you're being you know, threatened or that there are really strong challenges that you're facing, you have to maybe move or something along those lines, you're being forced to move, fix those problems immediately and figure out how to deal with that. And then after that, figure out how that you can become a strong person inside and tackle the, the bigger issues that are going on in a slow and steady fashion. Um, we often have to think about that because we need to think about how other people are being receptive on the other side. And so it's not just what we do is not just about telling the truth, quote unquote truth, but it's thinking about how are we going to get this idea re received where there's other people that may not receive it on the other end. So I encourage you to think about that. How might you tackle these bigger problems that we know exist? But how are we going to do it so that we continue to do our jobs and allow ourselves to live healthy and happy lives. It's a hard problem, but it's something that we have to face on a daily basis. All right, take care, bye.